Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Hello, everybody. How are you all today? I hope you're all doing well. All right, so welcome and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, of course, this is Melanie May. Welcome, everyone. And today's content is we are going to, or I am going to answer some of subscribers that uh, made a question about me so there is a question from mitch velina mitch velina she is obviously from philippines shout out uh, my beautiful subscribers what a wonderful uh meshes that she has for me and she has some question that i need to answer she's one of my subscriber slash uh supporter and uh She's always in my channel. She's always coming back to my channels almost, almost every day, everyone. So really, really appreciate for your messages. And I am willing to answer uh, as much as I can. Um, I will make it short and um, easy. And we make it as uh, respectable, everybody. So um, we don't get into trouble. All right. So first question. Um, she asked me, hi, Tita Mel. I have been your follower over years, over a year, I should say. So that we are, we are following as your followers. I would like to ask you some questions, personal, personal questions. So number one, um, her answer question is. How did you go to Australia in what age did you go there for work or study? Um, that's a very, very good question right there. Um, I did not go for work and I did not go for studies. Uh, back in 1990, I think it was a rather, uh, I went to Australia um, 1989 I was in my I guess in my 20s so I went there in Perth uh, that is really really hard to answer because it wasn't for work it wasn't for studies um, I have family in Perth that I uh, went there for bridging visa as a tourist visa and then the meet the I met an Australian guy there and I got married to him and of course uh, things did not work out and I become a widow he passed away and uh, all those years I've been in Australia before I'm, I'm, I'm married to my husband now um, yes I did work there and a few years from Perth and then um, work my way out to Kaguli, I work in Western Australia again. In case you guys don't know where Kaguli is, that's part of Western Australia. Um, that place that uh, I work with, that was a mining company. I've already mentioned this some of my videos. Uh, if you are subscribed to my channel, you can go into my YouTube and check out all my videos and you got all the answer from there. So I'm gonna keep it short and simple. So number two, is this ever crossed in your mind to stop what you have started giving Ayuda to us? Um, I guess, well, if there is a will, there's a way. I, like I said, I mentioned this again before. So if there is a will, there's a way. And this is, I, this is how I am. Um, everyone of us has our philosophy in things we do in life you know everybody's different so yes I, I continue doing this as as much as i can and when the time comes time comes so for now we're 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 doing good so keep it up we keep it up all right so we are on question number three what did you feel when you left philippines and how did you cope the homesickness well good question right there 
since I went to Australia, I was in my 20s. It was kind of very, very hard uh, being away in our family, but we kind of have a broken family anyway. So it wasn't very, to me, because I was a last child, I uh, was kind of uh, not neglected, but I grew up without a mom. So pretty much well said that I wasn't receiving a lot of love from my family, I should say. So it has, uh, it, it, it was, it was kind of homesick for not being, you know, so close with my brothers and sisters, but my brothers and sisters, they're not really there for me anyway. It was only one brother that was really, uh, have hung out with me or, uh, paying attention, which is my brother, June Flores. Shout out to you. So anyway, let's go and proceed to number four. What can you advise as if you want to, if you want to live or work abroad, if we want to live or work abroad, please tell us also your journey while living in different city in Australia and all places you have been oh okay so places that i have been like i've been to australia i lived there almost my life and uh, recently 2008 uh, keep it short ladies and gentlemen uh 2008 i got married and uh, met my husband in australia which is townsville and 2008 i got married in guam and then from guam we went back to australia um from australia we head back to western australia just to show my husband my little hometown that i pretty much uh, spent a longest time with my life called perth western australia so husband and i went over there after we got married we rented an apartment there in sabueco and uh, um, close to the city in perth and from there we moved to Karatha, Western Australia. That's where he found a job or he got transferred over there from Perth City. And um, from Karatha, we went to Mackay. Mackay is, this is around, um, around Australia, guys. We're talking about Australia here because the question uh, from Mitch Vilina, it's about Australia. So I live almost all my life in Western, um, in Australia itself. First is Western Australia. So Western Australia is uh, pretty much a beautiful country. And uh, most of the time, uh, husband and I worked over there. And then we head back over up north, you know, like uh, west, from Western Australia to North Queensland. So we went back to where we met. So pretty much we went around circle Australia. So he worked there in Townsville for a couple of years. And then from there, uh, we talked about, uh, because my husband had uh, heart problems. So we moved back to United States. Uh, we pretty much went back to, um, we pretty much went back to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania or Somerset, Pennsylvania. Then the, from there, we moved to Connecticut. So from Connecticut, we just tore around United States. So that's how, uh, it's pretty much the same guys. Everywhere you go, have nice places. They have pretty nice, beautiful cities. Um, we're not a big cities anyways, as, uh, as far as uh, everyone knows, I'm not a city person. Um, I come from a little town anyway. I was born in a little town in Dabo Occidental, guys. So, mind you, I don't like big cities. So, anyway, so proceed to number five. How did you meet your husband? There we go. So, I mentioned this already from my last videos on my YouTube channels. There is a videos that I really made when I was in Virginia Beach, uh, United States of America. So, guys, uh, pretty much if you want to know me, go and uh, subscribe this channel and um, visit my my videos and you'll know all the answers. 
so anyway this question right here where that i meet my husband i am going to make it nice and short because i've already mentioned this in my last blog okay so we met in townsville north queensland australia there you go so let's go and proceed to number six okay so um oh the question is how did you meet your husband it's a good question how, how did it how did i meet my husband it's very long cut short all right so we're gonna make it short i met in australia in townsville um over in town in the city and then uh, i work for mercury in townsville as you know guys uh, i've always mentioned this in my last videos um if you have watched my last videos i used to work for mercury in townsville hospitality industry for almost 11 years all right so um uh when he came back and looked for me he actually wrote uh an email or called he called he, he he called the business i mean he called the company at the mercury he was looking for me hey um uh, is this person still there blah, blah blah and my boss said yes he is and that's how we put our life together so anyway number seven is it hard to live in different places like moving to the place and other places yes it is it is as you all know guys that moving is not very easy it's hard but it's a bit easier for me i don't have kids uh, the hardest thing is when you have kids you have to pull your kids out from the school and move them around new places new friends you know adjust them adjusting other you know etc etc it's hard anyway number seven. <clears throat> oh, number eight are you aware that you are a blessing to us your subscribers I said yes of course and I do appreciate it that uh, every subscribers that I have uh, watched all my videos and are always here to watch my videos they're always coming back and every day I go live or every day I, I upload the videos they're always there the first to comment it's always my subscribers so I thank you so much I really really do appreciate it guys um, you just don't know all right so that's the answer of number eight let's go for number nine okay number nine question who motivate you or inspire you to to give joy and help others all right who motivate you or inspire you to give to give joy help and help others i see a lot of people okay i see a lot of people doing uh um motivating others through online so i pretty much like decide to how about help people that needs the most uh like i have a lot of clothes that i don't wear i have things that i don't need anymore and instead of uh throwing it on the garbage or rubbish bin i might as well do something about it give it to people that needs the most you know instead of wasting it throwing it on the bin or you know uh, giving it to what they call um, Salvation Army or or Goodwill, which is in United States, Goodwill. Because, uh, mind you, if you put all your goods that you don't need anymore, if you put it to Goodwill or, or um, Salvation Army, do you know that those goods that you gave, they're, gonna, they're going to sell it for more money and it's not free. So might as well give it to you guys, you know, give it to people that, you know, like a lot of people share videos, uh, hoping that they could win some packages, hoping that they could win a hundred peso or 50 peso or 20 peso. So, you know, it's just common sense. If, if, if you think that you, you know, you, you're very kind, you like to share your blessing in this, this is, this is what you do, you know? There you go so number nine that was number nine so number ten if we have given a chance to collab in your vlog what would you like us to do so that would be nice if you you know if you do a collab uh, uh, video blog it would be nice you, you, you can you can suggest anything you want as long as it is a appropriate you know uh, uh, 
comment things so you know how it goes guys i know as as i know every one of you has a has a channel on a youtube channel you know you know the relation you know the rules of facebook you know the rules of youtube channel uh, you name it all so you know how to adjust you know how to control yourself so be nice and be kind and be humble and that's all that matters all right so i think that's about it that's uh mitch vilina mitch vilina's questions there you go that's the answer of your question it's been answered so uh i really thank you and appreciated all your messages all your questions and etc etc so i will see you guys in my next video so hit the button there smash that uh, button and give it a thumbs up what you give me a give me a like and press the like button and let me think what you what you let me know what you think of these videos and uh, keep that messages coming into my uh, descriptions write me a message there feel free and I'm quite happy to answer all your questions and uh, to to my subscribers and my followers and sa magpapalo pa lang, maraming salamat po. So, keep sharing, like and subscribe the channel. This is Melanie May. Alright, thank you so much. Be kind and be humble everybody. And don't forget to smile. This is Melanie May. Thank you for watching everyone. Tada, signing off.